this twisted and completely made up turn of events, Anakin Skywalker is being cloned to make the next clone army. This video demonstrates how the new clone army is to be made using composite mold, reusable mold making material, and a urethane resin. The process begins by dipping the Jedi Master shape into a bubble buster solution. The bubble buster can also be sprayed onto the Jedi Master. The bubble buster reduces surface tension so that the bubbles do not stay attached to the surface of the Jedi Master while being molded. He is then placed carefully into the cloning box, also known as the mold box, or in this case, a plastic cup. The cloning solution, composite mold, is first melted with an electromagnetic radiation using a specialized heating system called a microwave. The melted composite mold is poured over the Jedi Master. A toothpick or paper clip can be used to pull bubbles away from any areas where bubbles may stay, such as in undercuts or sharp corners. When Anakin is completely covered, the mold cools to solidify. This cooling will take approximately one hour at room temperature. The Jedi Master is removed from the composite mold mold after the mold is solidified. To help make the part easier to remove, a slice was cut along the back. The process was started with scissors, but a scalpel or exacto knife was used to make the cutting of the composite mold slightly easier. Each figure must be made to look like the first to create the new army. Because we are using a fast curing urethane resin in this cloning process, the mold making must remain as cold as possible so as not to melt the composite mold when the urethane is curing. We will place the mold in the freezer prior to pouring in any of the urethane to reduce the temperature of the mold. Anakin has a big head. You will notice at the top of the mold a slight indentation. That is from the original Jedi Master. He was a keychain and we took off the chain part of it. We are now taping the mold back together so that it doesn't leak during when we pour in the urethane. Be sure to spray the inside of the mold with a mold release that is able to handle the urethane resin and place the mold back in the freezer. After approximately 30 minutes, the mold should be cold enough to pour in the urethane resin. Place the mold back in the freezer while the urethane cures. This will slow the curing time slightly, but not much. The entire process takes approximately 10 to 20 minutes depending on the urethane that you use. Before removing the urethane, be sure that the mold is completely solidified and the urethane is completely hard. Anakin has now been cloned. But does this new clone also have the power to control the force, or is it just Anakin's good looks? The keys to success include using a bubble buster, being sure your mold is cold when using a higher temperature urethane resin, and making sure that the mold release that you're using is completely dry. Thank you, and may the force be with you. For more information, visit Composimold.com. Never underestimate the power of the Composimold.